What's worse than a broken heart? Menstrual pain, homelessness, hunger, etc. As a guy, I think menstrual pain is a myth. <laughs> Don't you think that if something that affects literally half of the population uh, was a myth. Don't you think that someone, at least a couple of people, would have spoken up and said, hey, by the way, this doesn't happen. <laughs> no, just me. All right. If I wait here, if I just lay here, would you lie with me? Just forget the world Shout out to patrons NQS and McPuffin and to YouTube member Holly Miller for supporting my channel and supporting my content. Thank you so much guys. How's it going everybody and welcome back to another subreddit video. I hope the new year is treating you guys well in the last couple of days that it's been 2021. I don't know what it's been like yet. I'm currently recording this on Boxing Day so I have eaten way too much food and I'm very lethargic. For all I know, the minute New Year's happens the world will end. So hopefully not, but I mean I can't, I can never know for sure. Today we are taking a look at r slash bad women's anatomy. This is an interesting subreddit. I'm gonna put a, a content warning out there straight away. This video is probably gonna get demonetized because this video will contain subjects of sex, of women's body parts. It will contain discussions of biology. I am aiming to approach this with an educational viewpoint, but this is YouTube we're talking about, so it's almost certainly gonna get demonetized but what can you do I guess if if you want to support me in making demonetized content I have a patreon in the description <laughs> anyway let's get into the subreddit I've talked for way too long females can't help but display their sexuality even when it limits their range of motion in public safety jobs is she supposed to leave her ass at home? Wear her go to work ass? <laughs> so let's assume for a second that maybe he's not talking about her body. Perhaps he's talking about the clothing that accentuates her body. She doesn't choose her uniform. It's the people she works for that does that. The police uniform is made in a way that helps the police not only not get stabbed, but be able to pursue people. So it's not gonna limit her range of motion. As for having a, a butt, that great. She's like in incredible shape. This isn't going to affect her in a negative way, I'm just saying. But what can you expect from someone that refers to women as females? I mean, you already know that this guy was a, a real active member of r slash incels back in the day. They're the only people that use the term females and are not referring to like, oh, I got a new dog and it's a female. Like, call them women because that's what they are. My uncle is explaining to me, a final year genetic engineering student, that preferring a boy child is not sexist because boys carry the most important genetic components of the family line and a girl's genetic code changes when she is married off to another family. I'm in awe. How? Where, where do you even begin to get that kind of informational belief? Genetics aren't something that just change. It's the same as anti-vaxxers believing that vaccines change your genetics. That's not how genetics works. <laughs> People are really dumb. <laughs> she lied about being a virgin, lol. Did she tell you she lied after? She was unbelievably loose, bro. Bruh. That's not how vaginas work. It's really not. This might come as a surprise to a lot of you that don't know about female anatomy, but they don't become more loose after sleeping with more partners. But the human body is capable of a lot of things, including repairing injuries, not that sex is an injury, but muscles, right? So it's a muscle. Now, you know what else is a muscle? Let, let's take a look at the bicep for example. When you retract your arm, the bicep squishes 
and goes up that way. When you extend it, it squishes that way and stretches out. Now, the more you do that, your bicep doesn't become less stretchy the more you do it. Neither does any other part of the human body. <laughs> I would just like to specify that your muscles do become less elastic. This is a, a property called muscular elasticity. And when you work out and your muscles become tired and sore, that's actually because they're becoming less elastic. However, your body has the ability to repair your muscles and they go back to having all of their elasticity. Your body repairs and in fact gets stronger. This is a concept called muscular elasticity because women who marry as virgins are less likely to divorce. With every successive sexual partner, the likelihood of divorce grows exponentially. There's legit science out there that says women's ability to excrete dopamine is directly linked to the amount of sexual partners she has. In other words, if a woman has too many sexual partners, she is physically incapable of loving you. Is just completely wrong from the get-go. That's what the guy missed out here is, uh, adding the disclaimer, none of this is true. If anything, women that have sex more often have more dopamine because it's generated in the process of having sex. In a, in a lot of ways, it can be good for you to have sex. Obviously, not the getting pregnant part, that can do damage to your body. Just, we need to get rid of the stigma around women having sex, right? And because it, it really is a stigma that only applies to women in all these communities. It's always guys talking about how guys can have as many sexual partners as they want and it'll have no effect, whereas women can only have a certain amount before it ruins their lives. And it, it's not true. And there are a lot of sexually active women out there that are living really great lives. We just, we need to get rid of that stigma. Yeah, that vagina placement is really off. Context, this was on like a hentai picture, I think the Reddit post said. Like you'd know. I have a vagina, dumbass. <laughs> yeah, so apparently it was like hentai and it was, the vagina was drawn in a weird place and this person was like, yeah, that's wrong. And this guy was like, Psh, you wouldn't know thinking they were some virgin dude. Uh, they have a vagina, so they would know. Today, someone told me about how their sister used to work in a hospital that provided abortions. She said that she could hear the aborted babies that hadn't died yet crying in the trash cans. If there was ever a reason to be pro-life, this is it. Because because no child should be thrown out with the trash. That person can lie to you. <laughs> My cousin used to work in a hospital that provided abortions and the walls would ooze green slime. Fun fact, in my first year at college, I overheard a conversation in the student lounge where a girl was saying she was pro-life because she heard that abortions were done by pouring acid into the uterus and the fetus literally tries to run away. I tried really hard not to laugh. <laughs> I heard abortions are performed by funneling in rabid wolverines into the uterus. It's true, my dad works for Abortendo. <laughs> they also forgot to tell you the part about how the nurses have a basketball shootout with them and yell, Kobe, every time they get one in the trash. Abortions are performed with smaller, highly trained babies who sneak inside, befriend the fetus, learn their secrets and fears, and then betray them. <laughs> None of this is true. But also, the, the babies are not left alive when they're dumped in the trash. They're way gone before that point. I'm pretty sure, now correct me if I'm wrong here, but the, the legal time before you're no longer allowed to abort a baby is way before the point where any baby can cry. But, you know, I'm no doctor, but... <laughs> Am I incapable of exciting a woman sexually? No, it's the vaginas that are wrong. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> that is the outlook outlook of a, a dangerously large amount of men and it's quite scary. Far too many of them make it into positions of power as well. So many people that have no idea how women's bodies work end up as lawyers, as lawmakers, as like members of Congress, as senators, and they make laws about women's body when they have no idea what they're making laws about. And quite frankly, you shouldn't be allowed to make a law about something unless you have been educated in it thoroughly. 
If we're going to make laws about human bodies, especially women's bodies, can we please get doctors in to tell people about these things? Or, you know, how about we go a step further and ask the doctors what they think the laws should be? Because they are actually trained in this kind of thing. They know how human bodies work. I'm just saying. <laughs> This is Nicole Kidman. Do you see the long, flat back? Women have a natural curve in their spine, starting at bra level. What? It has to be there so that if they become pregnant, they're still able to stand upright and maintain balance. Biological females also have smaller kneecaps, shorter femur bones, and small proportional feet. Nicole Kidman is a biological male. Now, <laughs> no, no, women's spines are not curved. What? <laughs> I mean, unless they're a hunchback, and then perhaps, yeah. Smaller kneecaps and shorter femur bones. Um, I'm, I mean, they do have smaller feet, typically. That one's right. And I guess they might have smaller kneecaps and femur bones, especially if the woman is just smaller in proportion to the man. But no. And also, I just want to, I want to put this out here for the, the sake of this statement. Let's assume just for a second that Nicole Kidman was born born as a male and is in fact transgender. Why does that matter? What difference does it make? Who actually cares? It, it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't affect your life. They're just trying to live their life. E even if even if that was true, it doesn't make a difference. When you get out of the shower on your period and it's a race between you, time and gravity. Y'all don't shower with your pads on? Y'all nasty. How is that? I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I think showering with the pad on is way grosser. If a woman is, has spent the last two to three days uh, potentially longer and is going to carry on spending more time literally continuously bleeding from an area, it's gonna be way more hygienic for them to like clean that than, than to just leave it. <laughs> throw away the old pad, clean yourself, get a new pad. It's gonna be way nicer for you. And just, what does this guy think goes on? Does he think that women just don't clean? Does he think that they just leave that area for nature? Like <laughs> six days until I get rid of my uterus. Hashtag uterus. How will you have sex though? With my vagina, which is not in my uterus. <laughs> It's a different thing, you know? One's up here, right? One is, one's up, one's up here, and one's down there. D they're a different thing. One is not required for pleasure, and one most certainly is. Men enjoy putting the body part that we pee out of into the body part that women pee out of. No, we don't. That's not, that's a different thing. This might, again, this might come as a surprise to, to some people. Women have multiple holes down there and they've got one for pee and they have one for sex. Otherwise, it's gonna be real difficult to get a woman pregnant if you just, when when you, you ejaculate and it just, it doesn't go into her uterus, that just goes straight into her bladder. It's gonna be problematic, you know? <laughs> Me and my vulva, a hundred women reveal all. The correct word is vagina. Paul, no it's not. <laughs> End of conversation. No, but th this is the kind of stuff that's gonna get me demonetized here. But Paul, uh, you have genitals, correct? I'm making that assumption. Uh, I might be wrong. The penis, right? has multiple parts, yeah? You have the penis, which is the blanket term for the whole thing, and then you have like the, the foreskin and the glands and the shaft, and you know, you have all the different bits. Women, their genitals have multiple parts with different names. Now, I know it's a hard concept to grasp, but that is a thing. <laughs> I've always wondered what a loose vagina felt like until it dawned on me that I'm the guy that stretches them out to perfect fit for me. You're welcome, little guys. Here's your consolation. Fleshlights for your size. That's not how vaginas work. Then why have I never felt a loose vagina? 
Because the vagina is made out of muscle, the muscles loosen somewhat during arousal but generally adapt to whatever the pressure is, thus why tampons, which are much smaller than the vast majority of penises, don't just fall out. Female anatomy, it's not about your dick. <laughs> I like the the humble bragging of this guy who I'm willing to bet he knows this that he's wrong here but he's trying to pretend like oh my my knob is just so massive you know that I've never felt a loose one like he's he's pretending to like brag about how big it is I don't believe that he even has a big one you know I think he's just an idiot that doesn't understand anatomy he's probably Probably got an average at best <laughs> or he just hasn't had any female partners you know why have I never felt a loose vagina well the answer there sir is because you've never felt a vagina people who think vaginas are deformed by sexual intercourse are the biological equivalent of flat earthers yeah pretty much there's a resounding and unlimited amount of scientific evidence to suggest that vaginas remain exactly the same before and after sex. I mean, a woman can push a baby out of there and it can shrink right back down, so a penis isn't going to make any difference. I don't know why guys think that they are going to have such a huge impact on this woman's biology. It's quite narcissistic, in all honesty, but yeah, that's just not a thing. <laughs> woman in coma gives birth and now police want DNA from male workers at healthcare facility. I don't think DNA tests should be done. Let's receive it as a miracle like we have the Virgin Mary's birth. Or is man too intelligent to ever believe in something so extraordinary that new life somehow produced itself while in this woman was in a coma? Perhaps she had a dream of having a sexual encounter with her husband that her body thought it real enough to produce a pregnancy. Or perhaps, I mean, there's a, there's a lot to unpack here. First of all, even if her body believed that she had a sexual encounter, it can't just produce a baby. The egg needs the seed. There are two separate bits that have to combine to create life. So that couldn't just happen on its own. Man isn't too intelligent to believe in a, a miracle, right? However, we shouldn't just instantly take it as one and rule out the prospect of this woman having things done to her while in a coma. I think the smarter move would be to check first, do all the DNA tests, have all the checks it made to certainly tell if it was someone that it definitely was and who it was. And then if nothing ever comes up no DNA from anyone ever matches, then wow, it's a miracle. There, you have your miracle proven by science. However, we should definitely use science to prove that it's not a miracle first. I'm just saying. And the final post. All right, enough is enough. No woman has autism. Pretty interesting how every woman calling herself autistic has a fine-tuned social understanding of how to act cute and dress well, as well as a standard female's desire to put pictures and videos of herself on social media. Now, this isn't just bad woman's anatomy, this is just a complete misunderstanding of autism as a whole. And it's really common on the internet, people not knowing what autism is. Autism doesn't mean you don't know how to dress. I mean, in severe cases, it can definitely affect that. And yeah, autism does affect how you act in social si situations. However, a fine-tuned social understanding of how to act cute, that might not be an understanding, that might just be how she acts. That might might just be her personality. And dressing, I mean, most people know how to dress, even autistic people. But let's assume just for a minute that they don't. If they don't live alone, then they can very easily have people show them how to dress, pick out clothes for them, and that kind of thing. It, it doesn't make them suddenly incapable of functioning as a human being, it just makes them miss social cues. Learn what autism is before you make a comment about autism, and it's not a thing that only men have. Everyone can have it. Like. <laughs> 
Anyway, that's where I'm gonna end the video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this one. This was certainly a roller coaster, ha. Huh? If you wanna support me uh, and support my content in making more videos, especially ones like this, which probably end up demonetized, I have a Patreon in the description down below, or equally, you can click that join button on the channel. It helps a lot more than you might realize. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.